I know one thing that's important to you is beliefs and thoughts. Um, you know, I've learned over the years, uh, being a coach myself that, you know, I can teach somebody how to do the real estate business, but until they own that real estate that exists between their ears, it's going to be hard for them to be successful. So what can you, what can you share with me about successful beliefs and thoughts versus beliefs and thoughts that fail us? Yeah, I would, I would recommend, uh, Jay, anybody, uh, watching this, there, you know, we always talk about books, you know, some great books to read. Um, one book to read is, uh, the 12 week, 12 week year. And, uh, and also atomic habits is a great book. Um, I want, but a 12 week year is phenomenal and it has a chart in it called the emotional cycle of change. That chart is so powerful that when I'm talking to my students and if I can tell on a zoom, when I'm, you know, just not with it or whatever, I'll say, Hey, what's going on, Bob or whatever. And I've been known to pull up that chart and say, well, let's take a look here. Where are you in your emotional cycle of change? Uh, and, and that chart starts off with what I call irrational exuberance, which is what they, what they refer to as uninformed optimism. Like, let's just say somebody buys my course. They go, oh my God, I bought John's course. Oh my God, this is going to be exciting. Lease options. And they buy the course. They're, they start off at the top with uninformed optimism. I'm going to have to do it backwards because of the camera. Uninformed optimism. And then they start watching the videos and all excited because, oh my God, this, this is easy, blah, blah, blah. And then they get to the point where it's like talking to sellers. And they go, oh, I didn't know I was going to talk to sellers. And now they're down. The optimism goes down. They're now at informed pessimism. And then they're like, uh, and then the, then the six words come up, you know, the six words that kill or yeah, but what if, if only, yeah, but I don't like talking to the sellers. What if the seller yells at me, if only I had more information and they go down to the valley of despair and they're in the valley of despair. And then they're on Facebook and they see, uh, somebody's whole, they see Pace Morby subject to sub two course come up. They go, Oh my God, sub two. And they go buy that course. Boom. Now they start right back at the top at uninformed optimism. Oh my God, Pace Morby. Yeah. And they get that. And then they go, Oh, I better have some reserves in place to make payments on this house. Oh, informed pessimism. And they, that cycle is what causes shiny object syndrome. So mm -hmm. you've got to push through that valley of despair and push and push and push. So you get to informed uh, optimism and then you go all the way to success. Um, and as, as you look at that chart, what's amazing, uh, Jay, that chart is from 1970s. Two psychiatrists put that together. And what's phenomenal about that chart, Jay, is it's so true no matter what level you are playing at. So, for example, I've got friends that uh, do multifamily. Uh, you know, we're getting into the multifamily space as well, but I've got friends that have done uh, you know, have got a, a couple thousand doors, multifamily, they've done some big deals before. But when they go into a, they stretch their comfort zone and now they're into a bigger deal, say a 40 or $50 million deal that they've got to raise 20 million for, and they've never raised 20 million. That's out of their comfort zone. And you can see when you're talking, when I'm talking to them, how they're going through that. Yeah, we got a big deal here. Oh, oh we got to raise 20 million. I've never raised 20 million before. And now they start going into the valley of despair, right? But of course, we, we push through those times because we've been in business for a while. But, but people understand where are you in the, in the, uh, in the emotional cycle uh, of change and understand the six words that kill the yeah, but what if, if only. Because those are the words that will stop you dead in your tracks. Yeah, but I don't know anything about private money. Yeah, but I don't like talking to people about money. What if, what if I get sued? That's a big one. And what if I get sued, right? Uh, if only, if only I knew more people that had money. If only I was confident talking to people. Whatever. These are the words that stop you in your tracks. So as soon as you hear these six words come up in your head, man, stop it right then and say, mm, I'm not putting up with that today, and keep on moving, man.